It's Christmas Eve. Uh, first of all, we did some... Gemma finished her Christmas cake last night, so we are just going to go flip backwards, have a quick look at that video. You can see what the finished product looked like. We will have to eat it at some point as well. <laughs> have to? That sounds wrong, didn't it? But we will taste it and we'll let you know how, to, how it turned out. So for those who are interested to see Gemma's Christmas cake, here's the finished product with marzipan and Nathan. Marzipan Nathan. and Nathan. What was it? A peach jam? Peach and Prosecco. Sparkling charm. <laughs> yeah. And I see you've used one of my 3D yeah. prints for the top of it. That's <laughs> cute. Are my decorations? Uh, I've seen them around somewhere. My retro decorations, I couldn't find them. And you've got your retro Christmas wrap around it as well. Christmas wrap, yeah. So we'll will, we'll, we'll cut this up at some point in the next few days. Yeah. Um, it's Christmas Eve, so that means I'm going to open up the last of the beers in my beer calendar because we need the space because this thing is huge. Number 24. <laughs> Catter on the floor here. Okay, get it open. And the box is old. <laughs> Number 24 is Hertog something. Jan? Ian? Grand Prestige. Ooh. <laughs> this is 10% by volume. <laughs> this is a boozy one. Yeah, that looks like a fancy one to finish on. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I actually uh, approve of this cal calendar. I did. I have explained a couple of times now. It is not a cheap calendar uh, because it's craft beers, and craft beers are generally a bit more expensive than you know the likes of the stuff that you get from um, the, the corner shop or whatever, <laughs> Budweiser or whatever. Uh, but yeah, there was. 24 beers in there and I think we tried a variant of one of them so for my untapped check-ins that was 24 new beers effectively for my um, check-ins there so yeah I mean and with that last beer open I can now pop this very heavy cardboard box into the garden and it can go in the recycling at some point in the future I'm I need the rain's gonna have to break the, the, the card because it's thick with cardboard. Just make sure one of the cats doesn't fall me out. I'll sort it tomorrow. Later in the week. Uh, I'm actually working today, so I'm working but working from home. Sorry, the, the maiden's just fallen over all the clothes. Need to sort that out. Um, Gemma is at work, working from work. Uh, she works in retail, so she can't work up from home. She's going out for drinks after work, so I am going to do some bits of tidying in the house. Then I'll go pick her up, and then we will have a nice relaxed evening, uh, prepping food and possibly having a beverage or two. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, we've got bacon ribs for dinner as well, so we'll put those on. Bacon ribs look disgusting when they're cooking, but they always taste nice. Um, 3D printers running. I'm printing some daft things off just for my use. I also printed this off. I can show you this now because this is one of the presents that we're giving away. Giving away. <laughs> one of the presents that we're giving to a friend. Um, it's really cool, that, isn't it? It's uh, Jack and Sally from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I got that off Thingiverse. I also printed a smaller version of it because that... that I printed it wrong first, so I got a little tiny, tiny version, but I'll keep that as well because it's quite it turned out quite well. Uh, the battery's running out on this camera now, so I'm going to have to change that. And I'm going to have to have the rest of the KFC we bought last night for my dinner because I'm starving. Look who's home! I haven't really vlogged much today. <laughs> I'm saying this for Gemma's benefit, not yours, because you obviously know because you've only watched me uh, open the calendar. You all right? Yeah. Had a good day? Yeah. Opening calendar cards. Customer keeping us late. Oh, okay. going, oh, am I keeping you late? Yeah, you are. That's why all the lights are off and the doors locked. <laughs> you're all keeping us late. Anyway, over this way, the Lego village is finished. So what I've done, I've not built the train station and I've put the North Pole up on the top of the shelves. Uh, but then we still have a village here with lots of things going on and lots of little cameos from some of our favourite minifigs. Some of the daft ones we've got. Let's see if you can spot any. 
and a lot of these are the winter minifigs as well so these are the ones you get with these sets and there's a the carousel and Gemma's just got some cards this one has come all the way from Canada so this is from Anna and Pat who are a lovely couple who we met and they watch our vlogs and then we met them when we were in in Florida in May 2018 and spent quite a lot of time with them a very good afternoon in the Nomad Lounge having some drinks um, so yeah we exchange cards and stuff mm -hmm. now and thank you Disney on Wheels Stacey your card has arrived Yay. Too. this one's gorgeous with the moose on mm, pretty good Canada card you got some cards for the uh, this is where we hang our cards from these yeah it sounds like the person who's blocked my drive with his van is currently in the process of moving it, so Yay. that's good. Which means that I will now be able to have a Christmas beer. Can I squeeze my cards into this one? Too big to find somewhere special for this. Oh, I know where it can go. It could be one of the fireplace cards. Like okay. that. We, don't, we don't really use that fireplace now. Now that we've got good central eating. Fireplace was uh, a lifesaver when we were kids. Yeah, that's true. 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 Yeah, that's <laughs> Film the cars rather than your bottom when you're trying to get to. Not along the film, my bottom. It's a nice bottom. <laughs> we'll get to all of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not closed. Yeah. He's <laughs> silly. Uh, so our chicken turkey is currently defrosting. We're hoping that will be defrost so we can pour it in the oven later. And um, we're going to have bacon ribs for tea, aren't we? We are. Yeah. So that should be good. You know what time it is now? Time. Time to exchange Christmas cards. Oh, yeah. I'll have to go and get mine. I've left it upstairs. Mine's upstairs too. Okay. You go and get yours first, then I'll go and put my Christmas pajamas on. Alright then. First beers are on. I'm not having my uh, massive glass of beer this year because I'm trying to be a bit, pace myself a bit more. Uh, but we're watching Christmas Carol, which is our Christmas Eve tradition, isn't it? It's my favourite. And the music and the song. This film is just fab. <laughs> it's stuck in, stuck in my head for the rest of Christmas. Right, it's time. It I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started on beer that the cat's trying to drink. Yeah, she stuck his nose in it. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> Takes after his dad. Uh, and I'm going to build this Lego set while we watch some vlogs. We're watching Sarah from That Sounds Fun's Florida trip from this year. It's a very good trip, a lot of fun. Well, that's book one done. And we got a rocking horse, a little snow machine, Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread Man and Woman, a little van, Christmas present, box of chocolates, a couple more presents here and a train. We have a push chair and we have a Christmas tree. That's probably my 26,000th Christmas tree at this point. It's always her when I'm building these, like, I don't know where it comes from. And of course, because it's Lego, you do get a lot of spur bricks that you don't need. I have an entire tub fill, uh, filled with just hundreds and hundreds of these bricks. Anyway, I think it's time that we took on the main event, which is book number two. And it's a bigger one. So we're going to close this one off now because Jem's gone to bed, she's very tired, but she's cooked the turkey. And this is the gingerbread house. It's a really pretty set. 
it wasn't that much fun to build if I'm honest. <laughs> there was a lot of repetition and a lot of fiddly bits. Uh, we got there in the end. I think I probably should have split this one over a couple of nights. It wouldn't have been so bad then. Really nice build at the end though. And so ends our Christmas Eve. Tomorrow, Christmas Day, we'll continue to vlog. We'll show you what presents we got. What presents we bought for each other. So Merry Christmas. It's been fun. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry the, ta Christmas. the table is clean for the one time of the year that it gets the clean. The table is well, we'll ignore that. We need to. Uh, food is on. Turkey is done. Beef is doing. Kitchen's still a bit of a mess because we've been cooking it. Well, Gemma's been cooking in it. I've not never washed any dishes. And I've never washed any dishes, so I'll do some of those in a bit. Cats are here to say hello. And it's Christmas Day. We've owned our presents to each other, haven't we? Yeah. 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 I'll show you what we got later. We got nice things. Well, I can't show you one of them because I'm wearing it. Into the other ones. It's underpants. <laughs> she bought me underpants. Um, yeah. And Gemma just said I've been whinging for nice underpants, and that's exactly correct. Because I've been after me undies for ages, and then apparently there's a UK company called Oddball that does something similar. And I'm wearing them now, and they're very, very comfortable. So there you go, there's your underpants up there. <laughs> Christmas <Mark's> there. <underpants. laughs> I need probably to get a shower and brush my teeth because I had a few beers last night and I'm a little hungover. I, I, I actually think I drank very much and I I think I just I don't put glasses in the sink. I don't put glasses in the sink. Anyway, enough of beer talk. Um, oh, I need to put some coffee on as well. We've got Christmas coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it in the fridge here somewhere. We have a Christmas bread from Taylors of Harrogate. Well, veggies are on the go now. Yeah, beef's just come out. Okay. This is the turkey. This is the turkey. Um, sprouts are done, carrot and parsnips are done. Yeah. Um, we've got broccoli, mash, which just needs to go in the microwave, um, and potatoes just need to do Smashing? Okay. Done well? Yeah, good organised. Most of the pots are now clean. Yeah. Under the table just needs a hoover. The Christmas cats have got Christmas bows on now because you have to have Christmas cats and Christmas bows. <laughs> you like to see We got the uh, Christmas crooners on. We got the lightsaber. I think that's everything in it. Yeah. Gemma's fantastic Christmas lunch is served. You happy with it? Yeah, it's come out really well. And you know me well because you, you went back and got more gravy for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made it extra because I know the gravy boat doesn't hold a lot. Anyway, I'm going to eat now. Just basically filming one meal to the next today, aren't I? Um, Gemma's Christmas dinner was absolutely fantastic. I would go as far as to say it's possibly the best one she's done. Really enjoyed it. But of course the best thing about Christmas Day is then later on making butties out of all your leftovers. Which is what we're going to do now. Got some turkey and some beef and some stuffing and some pigs in blankets on it and then I'm going to throw some gravy on it to make it get a bit of moist. And that's me done for the evening because once I've had this I'll probably fall, fall asleep again. We did do a traditional Watch a Star Wars film. We watched Solo this year um, and I fell asleep and so did Gemma's dad. Gemma didn't. Hi. Hello. How are you? Tired. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day. We were supposed to be vlogging things. And, well, 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 we didn't vlog, vlog at family visits, but we've not. We went to see our new great nephew, Mason. We did. So we met him today. And then we've been over to your mum and dad's. Yeah. And had been... a lovely afternoon. And terrorised by our niece. Crazy Sophia. <laughs> Crazy Sophia. She was a nutter. We didn't really show our presents and stuff, did we? No. They're all upstairs as well. They are. Well, you got me uh, tickets to go and see Ghostbusters live, didn't you? I Ghostbusters did. with a Ghostbusters with a live orchestra. With a live orchestra. And we'll do that on Sunday. Yeah, so that's that's going to be good. So we'll, we'll probably be out in town for uh, the whole day and evening then. It'd be nice. Same way we're coming Yeah, well, we don't have to drink lots and lots of yeah. beer. I got you new a new Pandora. Pandora. Yeah, 
It's got where the where it closes. It's got all little Mickey heads, mm -hmm. and I put on a couple of my Pandoras on. Yeah, we need to get the rest on because they won't thread on. I don't know if it's a common thing with Pandoras, but yeah, because these are like little screw bits. Where. Yeah, and they won't screw over. It's like the, the threads are damaged on the, the charms, maybe. Yeah, we they've got... all gone on five. Yeah. And that's my oldest one, so that's gone on five. Maybe we're just being too soft with it. Put, I've put some presents away, though. Yeah. Stuff. We got off my mum away. We got lots of like different beers, craft beers, and lots of, lots of lovely things from family, some smellies and things like that. Yeah. Uh, we got some vouchers and money, and yeah, yeah. We got some money for our Disneyland Paris trip, didn't we? Did, we? Yeah, my dad's very nice. Euros. And your mum and dad would give us pounds, but we can spend that in Disneyland. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. No bother to get it changed. Mm -hmm. We got. Oh, I got another nice place off Karen as well. Oh, of course, there? yeah. It's in, it's in one of the bags. Very nice. Let's get and that out. Show that one off. This one. The lid off this. I struggled to get the lid off this when I was opening it. It's just a little, little beady one with a little star on. It's really pretty, isn't it? Is it is. It's lovely. It's very much my style. Yeah. Um, and we got my pajamas. Mm -hmm. uh, you got me a Jurassic Park Christmas T-shirt. Yeah. With some mini figs. The mini figs are awesome, aren't they? I'd love to show those later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I only got it for the uh, Malcolm one. Yeah. It's the only one I wanted. And the little dinosaur's cute, the little little white little, wrapped. Little thing. blue, is it? Yeah. And there's your new necklace. Necklace. Your new um, bracelet on. That, that is pretty, isn't it? Pandora, yeah. It's nice. And they don't jangle, which is good. They sound like a gypsy. And the cats have got presents that we need to open with them as well. Oh, yeah. Oh. You've had a nice couple of days then? Yeah. I have too. I'm absolutely Shame. shattered. I don't want to go back to work tomorrow. No, me either. Absolutely it's shattered. There's enough time over Christmas, is there? When you work in retail. Yeah. Oh. Just don't take time off because you've used all your time for other holidays in my case. Exactly, yeah. It's like I've stopped, I used to take all the bank holidays off and I've kind of just stopped doing that now so that we can have longer times off together. Yeah. Well, we can just odd days here and there. Yeah, I might take days off around and stuff like that. This is like zero energy vlogging this, isn't it? It is, isn't it? And we did have something else to say on this vlog as well, didn't we? We did, yeah. Mm -hmm. What have you done? Well, I've bought us um, this morning, ATD, I've got a sale on, so I've bought us tickets to go to um, SeaWorld and Costco and Bush Gardens. I'll deposit on them this morning. Did you do the Discovery Cove one or just the SeaWorld? Oh, tickets? no, sorry, it was Discovery Cove. Ah, yeah. Yeah, Discovery Cove with SeaWorld, Bush Gardens and Aquatica as well. Yeah. Because um, it was only like, there was a discount on the sales, it was like £142 for all of that. So, so of course, because we bought them, we might as well book a holiday to go. Yeah, and, might as well already booked a holiday to go there. Yeah. And some people might have already noticed, particularly um, observant, that <laughs> the counter when I was stood by the fridge behind had a holiday countdown on it. Even though it's wrong. Even, even though it's wrong, but there is a holiday countdown on there. Yeah. Yeah. So we've booked, we've booked, what have we done? We've booked to go back to Florida next September. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is going to be, so all the people who liked our January trip, and we know a lot of people like those videos in the uh, 2017 trip where we were staying on International Drive and yeah. doing our oh, kind of Florida holiday, not a Disney holiday. Yeah, this is an off-site holiday. Yeah. Um, Although you are tempted. Um, I'm tempted. Well, we're going for Halloween because hmm. I want to do Halloween Horror Nights because it's the 30th anniversary. Luckily, my friend crosses over with me, so I've got somebody to go with. Um, because Mark will not attend Halloween Horror Nights because he's mean and evil and he's me on my own. And I want to do Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party so I'm possibly a date for the two years just for Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> okay, we can decide that time. closer to the time because it's not really cheaper anywhere to buy a one day ticket so no, I felt like you can get a fast pass for it, so it doesn't matter. And we'll be going back to renting a car, not sure what yet. Yeah, I was actually that. looking at um, standard pickup trucks. <laughs> the prices were pretty good on pickup trucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll decide near the time. We're going to do this pretty, pretty chilled one, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Well. Well, there's going to be loads of new roller coasters to try because SeaWorld's new icebreaker yep. will be open, and Tigris is open at Bush Gardens, and Angua's will be open. 
Um, so we want to go and from there. And you had to do some catching up there. Yeah, and the the sea, sea well, the change in the killer whale show in January to make it much more educational. So that'll be something different to see. Um, all those good changes. Be nice to get back to Sea World. People will still complain that the orcas are being made to do tricks. That's not fine. saying it as like you know. That's fine. Something to keep the orcas' minds active, which is actually what it is. I anyway, I think I might do the orca up close tour as well if they're still doing it. Yeah. Um, because it'd be nice to meet the keepers face to face and ask them any questions that I've got. And yeah. Fingers crossed that I can get to. Yeah. They'll be happy with any of them, but Katina's my favourite. So there you go, trip announcement. Trip announcement. In our style, <laughs> where we don't actually make our own video and do a massive countdown we just go oh yeah by the way we've bought forward yeah, so that's so three holidays in 2020 till 2020 is going to be a good year it is yeah three nicely spread out holidays we've got disneyland paris in a mere 39 days mm -hmm. um then we're going to spain in may and then this florida in september and i'll buy the universal tickets because we haven't done hagrid yet neither buy the universal tickets when halloween horror nights tickets are released so and the good thing about attraction tickets directors, I can just not call attraction tickets directors. They're called attraction tickets dot com. Yeah, um, there are other ticket sellers available. We aren't sponsored. We aren't sponsored at all, but this is one we've always used. Mm. Um, never had any issues with them, and um, found the customer service really good. So I always go back to them, even though some places might be a little bit cheaper. I, just I think they price match anyway. They do, yeah. I just like to go back to where I know and where okay. I've been happy with. Um, um, yeah, when the Universal Halloween Horror Nights stuff comes out, so I'll book that then. Yep. Because I can just pay a deposit and then just pay it off as I go. Did you say where we were staying? No. We're staying at the Rosen Inn International. International. So we're close to Chewy's. Yeah, so you and can go to Denny's for your breakfast, it's around the corner. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we're also... Um, Excuse me. We have, we have allowed one luxury on this trip, which we don't normally do. Oh, yeah. So we're going to fly home in premium, aren't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, in the bubble. Yeah, because um, on the last trip, the flight home, I found particularly uncomfortable. On the last trip, we struggled to fit everything in our cases, so now we'll have an extra case each. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided, <laughs> but I decided that, that I, if I'm going, I want to spring out yeah. the extra cash to fly home in premium. Home, yeah. We'll be flying out there in the cheap seats, but you know. We're not, we're not going all but premium both ways. Because you're on the way out and the flight doesn't seem to take as long on the way out, but on the way back it can sometimes drag. Yeah. But it's a night flight and you're tired and... So I thought it'd be nice because I just find it uncomfortable in it those seats when trying to sleep. It wasn't that much more expensive neither to put premium on to fly home, so... That's I just, good, We had a budget and I just kept watching until it was under budget and then I booked it. Yeah. So that was fine. So we got that to look forward to? Mm -hmm. Sit. With some very happy cats because they've got their favourites. Does everyone's cats seem to like these? Good boy. Gemma has taught the cats to sit, by the way. And Archie's the best. Sit down. Oh, Jen has very big teeth. It does. Archie used to be like proper snatchy when we first got him mm. because obviously a rescue cat. He's so gentle now. I'll probably make your fingers off now. I said that. <laughs> but he is so gentle now. Who got them? The dreamies. Cat, uh, your mum. Your mum. Well, Karen did as well. <laughs> she oh got right, so you got dreamers too. Oh well, there's spoiled cats. Massive. Dog. Yeah, that'll keep them going for a while. <laughs> I don't know the way these things. Mm, true. And they got a big, massive. Um, we got them Felix, didn't we? The big, big tin of Felix mm. with all the different ones in. They don't actually eat all the treats other times in the year, to be fair. They do like the treats. Though. Jin probably needs a few. He's, he's, he's not as fat as hey, he used to be. He wanted beef and turkey he ate last night. Yeah, true. He really likes the dreams, so they're his favourite. Jin's got very awkward with food as he's getting older. He has, yeah. Although he will crawl over broken glass for a KFC hot wing, hot which wing. he shouldn't have, but he managed to grab one the other night. Just a couple more, boys. 